Hey everybody, today is December 10th and because of uh, a bunch of requests for me to do overwintering I decided to take some of these plants and attempt to overwinter these. What I'm going to do different is that I'm not going to take this indoor, I'm just going to leave this outside but I'm going to wrap these in plastic bags and I'm going to leave it closer to the house that way it's warmer there than uh, in the open field. Here's what I'm doing right now, I'm just cutting these things back. The bottom of the tree are still in great condition. The top is might be a little dry, so I basically just go through each of these trees and then cut them back. You want to cut them back as, as far as you can. These parts right here where it turned brown, those are no longer good. So just go ahead and trim those back, back to here. And uh, these browner part right here, these are the strongest part of the plant so you want to leave those see these greener ones just take those out but you want to leave that uh, this section here because those are the the nice dirty part of the plant and that is what is gonna grow back next season very very strong see these here they're not the same color so you can go ahead and take those off and you don't want to leave too much um, when overwintering people cut it very very low but you can pretty much judge on your own and see how far you want to cut back that's just basically depending on how much room you have and uh, you can actually take this plant out of the container and get rid of some of the roots so you can put it in smaller container if you like that would work as well if you don't damage too much roots uh, the plant will survive just fine but uh, let me cut all of these down. Uh, I've already I've already done a few. Then I'm gonna wrap it up in the bag, and then I'll show you what it looks like. And then after that, I'll do some periodic update to see how well it does, and to see if it actually lives through the winter here in Texas. Okay, here's what it's gonna look like when the plastic bag is on top. And the good thing about this trash bag is that it has this little tie string here. So make sure you give the plant some water because you're not going to take this out and water for a while because over wintering you don't need too much water. And with this the condensation will go up and then it's going to retain and stay inside here. But that's what it's going to look like. You want to put this closer to the house where it gets some light. It doesn't need too much light because there's really not much left. But uh, I'll keep you guys updated and see how long this stay alive or if it would make it through the winter and be ready for next season all right today is march 5th and my method actually worked so some of the plants are actually still alive all winter and they are starting to come back as you can see here this is the bahamian goat that i had the plastic wrap over the top now in texas especially this year the weather didn't drop too cold and we didn't get frost at all uh, it did drop below 30s and uh, a few days but normally they're around 35 38 and then the rest of the time is around in the 40s so these guys are still alive with the plastic bag method over the top um, and it's close to the barn so it's not in an open field so it didn't get very cold so this is the Bahamian goat it's still alive um, this method may work in other places where the weather doesn't drop too far below 30s or freezing uh, for too long maybe in California or upper Florida or something or something like that but yeah so anyway uh, it, it worked and here it is my Bahamian goat and this is my ghost I just chopped the top off uh, basically the top is all dead but it's coming back from the bottom and then here's my Pekin that one's still alive the other ghost is dead and here is the orange ricotto that I haven't seen since last year. It was blocked off by my orange habanero, but the, the habanero is completely all dead, but this guy is still alive. If you want to try this method to overwinter, I don't recommend it because it's not a guarantee. I got a few to survive out of 17 plants, so which is not bad at all. I mean, I haven't done much except cover it up and just let it stay out here. But uh, it's worth a shot if you... Uh, have nothing to lose. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching and uh, please like, subscribe and check out my other videos. Thank you.